Breaking news. Nigerians. The court stops PDP and EC from sacking Damagu as the acting national chairman. I talk am my country people. I knew it. That the courts will step into this issue. The courts will surely interfere. I knew it. Now the Federal High Court in Abuja on Friday restrained the National Executive Committee and the Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party from removing Ambassador Damagu as the acting national chairman of the party. The court ordered that no other person must be recognized as the PDP national chairman other than Damagu until the national convention of the party scheduled for December next year. You can imagine, my country people. Justice Peter Lifu issued the restraining order against PDP, NEC, BOT, and others while delivering the judgment in a suit instituted against them by Senator Omar. The judgment held that in line with Articles 42, 47, and 67 of the PDP, it is only at the PDP National Convention of the Party that the national officers can be elected. Guys, you can see what's happening in the PDP. So, the crisis in the PDP has taken a fresh turn, as Justice Lifu said that the PDP members are bound by the constitution of the party, and as such, they must always act in line with the provisions and obedience to the party's law. So, they claim that uh, this Umar Damago is not going anywhere, that he won't be removed as the national chairman of the party until the party have held its convention, its national convention, where they get to decide if he will be replaced or not. Justice Lifu also held that any attempt to truncate the tenor of the northern region without the national convention of the party will amount to an affront to the constitution of the PDP. Earlier, the judge had dismissed the opposition of the defendants to the suit on the grounds that the plaintiff had no low-cost no low standing to bring out the case and that the court lacked jurisdiction. Justice Lifu held that the plaintiff pre, pre, predicted his suit on a protection of PDP constitution from being violated and the northern region where he hailed from, from being shortchanged from the four-year tenor. Now, Justice Lifu said that the plaintiff have displayed his PDP membership card before the court and have raised the fundamental issue of protection of PDP's constitution and held, you know, had significant interest and justifiable uh, cause to institute the case. The, just, the, the judge, therefore, declared that the PDP, NEC, and BOT are bound by the constitution. And that Damago as national chairman can only be replaced through the national convention of the party. He also held that Damago have been appointed from the northern region, where the former national chairman Senator Ayochiayu held for, is entitled to serve out the remaining tenure of the national chairman. Like I said earlier, when the People's Democratic Party had brought out this motion concerning the suspension of uh, of Umar Damago, I pointed to the fact to the to the fact that the courts might be somewhere waiting to halt this this uh, suspension, and I mean, look at it, guys, look at it. So the court is at work again. The court is at work again. This is an abuse of judicial process, oh, guys. This is an abuse of judicial process. The suspension has been done. So why is the court interfering? My own issue is why is the court interfering in these uh, party issues? You see this Justice Lifu and Justice Omoto show? Those two justices, I don't understand them anymore. Are they really charge and bail justice or what is their true intentions? Because they are always bringing contradictory orders they are always bringing you know opposing orders why are they 
you know, involving themselves in all of this. They've already been suspended. They've already been suspended. So why is the court stopping their suspension? They've been suspended. There's, I don't think there's anything the court can do about it. I don't think there's anything the court can do about it. You know, not only um, Damago was suspended, I uh, Anyangu was also suspended. Anyangu was also the Deputy National Secretary of the PDP, was also suspended from the party. So this one that the court is coming to give an order uh, whereby they restricted the NEC and the BOT from removing Damago, they suspended him. They are, so, they are suspending the both of them. So it means that his position as the national chairman is on halt. They've not brought any person to replace him yet. They've not brought any person to replace him yet. We are just talking about his suspension. This comes as the PDP suspended Damago and Anyangu. That's in fact this judgment is coming as the res the you know this judgment is coming as the fashion a fashion of the PDP suspended Damago Anyangu and the national legal advisor of the PDP. It was said that Debo Ologunaba was also uh, suspended. Now Anyangu and Damago have been suspended. Although the talks of their role as the national chairman and the other the deputy national uh, secretary nobody have you know heard anything concerning that but all we know is that they've been suspended and we know that this national convention is where they will get to um you know choose another leader now watch as the courts will stop the national convention from taking place this is Nigeria. Every anything is possible. Watch as the courts will stop the national convention from taking place, where they will get to elect another person that will replace um, Umar Damago. Just watch. The courts will certainly bring an order halting the national convention, and they would want to halt it for eternity so that they will not remove Damago. They would want to delay the national convention. Because this is just, you know, what I feel will happen. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comments section. Thank you.